it was Ralph Waldo Emerson who asked the question, how do you measure success? Lots of people measure success by the amount of wealth or power or popularity that they can gain in this old world. Worldly definitions of success are pretty deceptive and tragic because they focus on things that are fleeting and passing away, and they ignore the, the things that are lasting and eternal. Worldly definitions are notoriously short-sighted and usually end in some kind of misery. The Bible gives us advice about real success. It says in Matthew chapter 6, beginning with verse 19, and don't struggle to accumulate a lot of money on earth where insects and rust destroy and where thieves can break in and steal it. Its value is always changing and you'll spend all your time worrying about money and how to protect it. Focus instead on valuables that last, those you can store up in heaven where insects and rust can't destroy them and where thieves can't break in and steal. Remember, whatever project you invest your money in will have your attention. Mr. Emerson, however, gives some insightful characteristics of success. He says, to laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people, and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a redeemed social condition, or a job well done, to know even one other life has breathed because you lived. This is to have succeeded. Maybe it is those kinds of things that the Bible refers to when it says, focus instead on valuables that last, those you can store up in heaven where insects and rust can't destroy. Pastor Bob here from TLC Church. May you store up treasures in heaven. Father, we thank you for the opportunity of living our lives to, to be able to touch others and to store up those treasures in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen.